What's up everybody, it's Olaf, and today I'm back with another Game of Thrones video. This time, we're gonna talk about how to restore a extinct house, House Darklyn. I'm gonna start as House Darkwood uh, during the second bookmark, so after the Civil War is over. I'm gonna hop up in here. And there's a few things you're gonna wanna do when you start off uh, with any of these. Obviously, we're gonna check just to see what's required of the Revival of House Darkwood, which is to have the Lordship of Duskendale and then the High Lordship of Rykar, which is basically the entire duchy. As you can see, this is who holds it. We're gonna look at my own character, see what sort of options we have. Um, early on in the game, you're gonna obviously wanna marry people to get some alliances, because as you can see, if you look in the top right corner, I have very little troops, only about 500. This character is also incredibly old, so it's unlikely he'll be having more kids anytime soon, but we will certainly be able to find out. So for now, I'm gonna check out some spouses, try to get people married up, and then we will move on from there. Okay, so I spent a little time going through this, and I think for me, I've found the best option as far as alliances, as well as skills. Um, and it's a little further down. It is this kind of this little corn cob house, this, this lady right here, because she does have a, um, a claim on the Lordship as well, if I ever decided to expand out that way. That would be good uh, in the future, so I'm gonna choose her. My son is already married. Um, his son is married or is not married, but usually this results in um, not being able to pick somebody good. So it's better to wait until you're your heir to uh, marry them off. My daughter, however, is not married. So let's see if we can find somebody good for her. Obviously it's up to you how you choose alliances. I generally like to go for proximity and then obviously military strength is up there too, but if they're not close, it's gonna take them too long to get over to you. So I'm gonna choose that house that I just saw. Um, I'm gonna use the intrigue focus so that I can maybe get objections and so my murder plots, which I plan on doing, will be a little bit easier. Uh, but I, as you can see, I still haven't even started the game yet. You wanna do all of this before you unpause for the first time because a lot of those marriages will be unavailable after you unpause the game. People will get married. The AI will choose people for each other. So I'm just gonna check out my Lord here, see what sort of options I have here. Um, I may end up murdering him to try and weaken his line because he has a decent amount of troops and it might take me too long to build up a force strong enough. I'm gonna go through my council right now, firing people and putting better people in positions. This is obviously another thing to do uh, that's important early game, uh, but it doesn't have much to do with restoring this house. So we're gonna focus on that here in a second. Again, not house related, but it's important to choose a good patron deity for you, uh, one that aligns with your character. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick the father because it seems like the most uh, relevant, but I'm also just going to check and make sure that nothing else seems more appropriate here. But yeah, the father seems like the best one for me, so that's what I'm going to pick. Um, there's apparently a decision to call a maester. I'm not going to call a maester because it costs 50 gold to recruit one, and I need the money to lay claims to other counties, which I'm going to do with my septon here in a second. So as I said in my video about extinct houses, an interesting thing about House Darklyn is that you actually have three houses you can choose from in this duchy that you can then use to take over. It's technically supposed to be called Duskendale. I actually have a mod installed right now that's uh, that makes some of the duchies called the last name of the house that controls it. So don't be distracted by that. It is generally called Duskendale. So while you're waiting around, make sure you're also trying to find secrets. But as you can see, I've got a claim on the single county, which I will take. I don't care if it's not the entire duchy because I need this specifically to restore my house. So I will take that. And then we're going to be able to declare war on them. I also had a son, which is very strange because my wife was like 45 and I'm like 70 years old. But, you know, miracles happen every day and it's important to... I think that's beautiful. Now, this guy also isn't going to get great alliances because he's way down the line and I'm already a minor house anyway. So if you can't get a strong alliance um, or like a crazy house, just try to find one with high prestige. I'll probably check back on this one later because for now I'm not really seeing anything that's that great outside of an alliance I already have. Before we start, I'm actually going to try and murder my liege because it generally weakens their troops. I have a decent amount of alliances, but I don't know if it'll be enough to actually get rid of him. So let's see what happens here. We're pretty close. Yeah, there we go. Let's, okay, let's see what happens. And he's dead. Very nice. So his child is now the ruler and has about uh, a thousand less troops than them. I think that we should be pretty good here to go to war and take this county over for ourselves. 
Um, you want to kind of move fast. I feel like that's the best option early game is to just go as quickly as possible and scoop up as much land as you can because at a certain point, it gets a little more difficult once you take a duchy, especially in the Game of Thrones mod. So I always like to be quick. I'm going to call all these allies in and uh, we're just going to mop this up, hopefully fairly quickly, but uh, you never know. Sometimes these things take a while. It's been a little while. Uh, everybody knows I'm a murderer now. Uh, not exactly ideal. I've gained a couple traits here. But this war is almost over, so it's okay. I'm also old, so I don't mind being as malicious when I'm an older character. But when I'm young, I usually am more cautious because I don't want to ruin my reputation. Sometimes you can, you know, get rid of your character certain ways, but I, I like to play it straight. All right, so we've captured the ruler, and now we can take this county. It took almost exactly two years, which isn't a very long war. I've had many wars last like 10 years. Sometimes it could just be kind of annoying. So now we need to get a claim on the rest of the duchy. Uh, we can also just claim individual counties one at a time, but that tends to take a little bit longer. So I'm probably just going to have my my guy here. Uh, oh my God, 16 years. Wow, really? And I don't have anybody better than that. That is a really long time. But anyway, we're just gonna have <laughs> my Septon try to claim a little more of this duchy. And then once we have a claim on it, we will uh, we'll fight for it. I'm still trying to get another claim. I do have a claim on the county next to me, but it didn't quite work. Oh, here we go. Okay. So sometimes if your Septon skill and learning is high enough, you get a claim on the entirety of the duchy. Um, this won't happen unless the duchy already exists, though. So like say that this duchy of Riker or what is normally Duskendale wasn't there, you wouldn't get the option to claim it from your counselor because they can't put a claim onto something that doesn't exist. You can only do it individually by counties. So it's actually more beneficial for us that we're starting off in a county. This is probably, from what I can see, the easiest house to restore. Um, but now I need to wait till I have money. And I may also try to kill my current liege again, just to try to weaken them a little bit more. That dead is gonna last us quite a while. Uh, all right, here we go. So, Sweet Tooth, let's try it, and she's dead, very nice. So we have a new older liege, let's see if they lost any power. They did not, but my envoys from the Iron Bank did come. Uh, that's 500 gold that I've just borrowed, because I'm near death anyway, so I figured, hey, I could just borrow some gold. Because, funny thing, this is a bug for now, I think, but debt doesn't carry over. So I'm gonna declare this war, and we're gonna call uh, some allies in. And then we're gonna wrap this video up, and you're going to see that all it takes to rebuild an extinct house is a lot of murder, some gold, and an army. Or several armies. Okay, so this war is already almost over. I did lose a son, but it shouldn't matter. Um, I have a grandson who is now my heir, which is strange because I have another son. But I guess because of how um, succession works, it uh, doesn't want to give it to him. But we've just won, so now we have a claim on the entire camp the entire duchy so we are now high lords technically um and we can restore the extinct title and it really is that easy all you got to do is meet the parameters this isn't uh, this one isn't too complicated some of them are a little harder i would say like i said a little earlier darklin is probably from what i've seen the easiest house to restore because all you have to do is take a duchy and it's not even it's not like a ruling duchy. It's not like you have to take Storm's End or High Garden. You literally just take this little tiny duchy. This took me maybe 30 minutes. So if you want to play through where you can play as a unique house, um, an extinct house, this is certainly a way to do it. But let's uh, let's get to that decision and give it a little read through. All right, let's give this a read here. Revive House Darklin. In the days of the Hundred Kingdoms, House Darklin of Duskendale reigned as kings, claiming the mouth of the Blackwater Rush. The last Lord Darklin lost his seat, his lands, and his life when he took his king to prisoner. The price of his defiance was his family's defense, or his family's demise. Perhaps it is time to bring back the once great House Darklin. And we're going to do that right now. And now it's done. There's no fanfare, nothing. You just change your sigil, and that's that's it. You, you've, you've done it. You've restored the house. Beneath dusk's dim light, House Darklin of Duskendale has returned. And just like that, we're done. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. It is it is fairly simple to restore extinct houses if you know who you need to select. 
I don't, I don't really care about this because we're not going to continue playing as this character. Uh, he's very likely going to die. He's pretty old. Uh, I owe 700 gold to the Iron Bank, so this might not be a method that you want to do because technically I would have just waited. Um, but he, as you can see, he's he's ailing and aching, so this man isn't going to survive for long. He's 68. He's old, so I should get lucky. But if this is your own character, maybe play it a little bit slower. Uh, for the sake of this video, obviously I've sped it up. But yeah, that is that is the gist of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was uh, informative and a little bit entertaining. Until next time, I'm Olaf. This has been another Game of Thrones video. This is my heir, in case you wanted to know. And uh, I'll see you.